Hi, this is Paul Dye, reporting for Kit Plains Magazine and AvWeb from AirVenture 2014, standing in front of the PBS TJ100 jet engine, which is being used to power the new Subsonics jet from Sonics Aircraft. We caught up with John Manette. He's going to tell us about it. Well, this is the Subsonics SXJ2, and uh, this is the second version of the Sonics project, which was born out of a proof of concept jet that we've been flying for the last couple of years called the SX-1. And that jet is, a, is a, considered a micro jet. We wanted to design a personal jet that was affordable uh, and a, a real project. So that whole development was really based on my boyhood dream of having a jet airplane of my own. And, and uh, it took me 69 years to become a jet pilot. So. Uh, we, we achieved that. But this, this airplane that we're in front of is uh, really the, the culmination of all of the research work we did with JSX-1. The JSX-2 is basically the same configuration. It uses a PBS uh, engine that's about 247 pounds of thrust. Uh, we have a fuel capacity of about 40 gallons that gives us a 500 mile range uh, with the right conditions. Uh, the airplane uh, has in been increased as far as uh, the size of the cockpit. We sit more upright, we have a little more comfortable uh, cockpit, and we have a BRS chute uh, deployment system that allows us not to wear a chute in the cockpit, so it's much more comfortable, gives us a lot more room. And so uh, that works, and uh, with using MGL electronics for uh, uh, all of our instrumentation, the, the airplane ends up weighing only 460 pounds empty. It, it grosses at about 1,000 pounds. So uh, with the fuel capacity and everything, it has a, a great amount of capability compared to uh, any of the other little jets that we've seen in the past. And this engine is uh, the PBS engine. It's made in the Czech Republic. Its genesis was uh, APU units for MiG aircraft, and uh, uh, they service the Russian thing. So now it's been developed for not only RPV market and for specifically airplanes like ours and gliders, uh, uh, self-launching uh, sailplanes, uh, and it's a very well developed uh, engine that, that uh, has uh, many different uh, uh, missions. So the particular engine we have is a, a version of about one, one of about 16 different versions of this engine. So we're running it very conservatively to, for the longevity of the engine. We, uh, we normally cruise it at about 92% RPM. Uh, and it, that gives us that altitude of, of fuel economy of about 16 to 17 gallons an hour. So uh, that gives us a, a, a nice range. At sea level at 100%, it burns about 32 gallons, but we only run that for a very short time. Uh, it, it's capable of above 20,000 feet. We have a built-in oxygen system. We have a cabin heater and heated seats, so uh, that, that makes it uh, a doable airplane to fly at, at higher elevations. Actually, it's, it's really efficient at about 13 to 14,000 feet. The airplane presently in the experimental amateur built category is $130,000. That includes the engine, which is $55,000. And uh, this is a highly fabricated kit airplane. Uh, it includes the BRS chute, uh, all of the, uh, the electrical uh, wiring harnesses to run everything. Uh, so it's uh, you know, a very, very complete kit. As an exhibition category airplane, uh, it, it, you add another $5,000 to that. So actually you'll have this airplane operating very well at $150,000. It's available right now. Uh, we're building the first 10, uh, which are already spoken for, and uh, many more to come.